Hey guys, cheesy nipples here. Um, I'm just here to do let's play on my server. So I just flew over here because this is an average area. Just start off with, and let's go get some resources. All right, so we can go over to that jungle. I mean, cobblestone is quite a good place to go because you can just really dig it up quite easy. The only problem with sand building on it, you can dig it easy, but it falls down on you if you're trying to mine in your house or whatever. So it's just best to keep it, you know, keep it cobblestone or dirt's probably the easiest. And in saying that, I have just found a dirt patch, so I'll probably, I'll probably co collaborate most of this area anyway, so. Whatever. Sugar cane's good, you know. Uh, let's get down. I hear another sheep, so I need some more wool as well. So I wish there was another way you could get wool. It like you know, there's another way to get coal and stuff. There's just no other way to get wool, unless I like, you know, slash give cheesy nipples wool. That could be horrible. But no, no spawning stuff. That's not survival. Um, let's go find some sheep, yes? Sheep. Oh. My quest for sheep is over. This has been the end of the game. I don't really want to kill the sheep, because, like, it's kind of annoying. Because, like, they're kind of good to have. Around, I don't know. They just give me a good vibe. Uh, you know, give me a sec. Wait. My what do you call it? Video settings is just like. Uh, let's do. Uh, uh, render distance. I want normal. Yeah, that's all. Yeah, okay, that's cool. I don't know what that is. I'm gonna turn that. I'm gonna keep that all. Okay. And as I've been doing this, a sheep has appeared. So, hello, Mr. Sheep. After that, I feel. What? Oh, I thought he just disappeared. Yeah, this sheep isn't very clever at like getting away, he's just running back and forth. Okay, so now I've basically got my bed. And the sheep's asking to die, but I'll keep him alive, because no no innocent sheep shall be killed for no reason. And here's some monster sugar cane. I'll take some of that. I'll collect you guys later. And let's make a crafting bench, shall we? Oh you can do this thing called shift click, so you want all this in your inventory, shift. I learned that the other day, that's pretty cool. Oh, I'm low on health. Okay. I'm not low on health. What am I saying? I'm hungry. In real life and on my game. Oh, here we go. You know what? I could actually build a house. Into that mountain. No. Um, yeah, I can do that. I'll do that. So let's just start digging this out. I would probably like use a spade or something, but yeah, I'll use a spade. Actually, to be honest, a spade, a wooden spade, takes just as long as a um, a, what do you call it? A oh, yeah, just your hands. There's not a big difference. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna find some cobblestone, and I'll make a, a cobblestone. Spade. Oh, here we go. So we just need one piece for now. I'm gonna leave this kind of half open. Because I can always come back down here later. There we go, some nice stairs. Probably gonna fall. <coughs> Probably gonna fall into that more than once, but all that. Okay, so that's what you call tactical crafting, guys. So nine. Okay. So we've just found more cobblestone. So this will be my doorway, it's good enough. And boom, coal, straight away. 
right after that. So we've uh, had quite a good start. We found coal. And to be honest, this is just a random world generation generator, so this is all from randomness. So this has been quite a lucky thing. I mean, you know, sometimes I spawn by um, villages as well, like um, you know the NPC villages, and I actually hate that because you go in the town like, oh yeah, okay, this is cool, survival helps. But it actually doesn't I mean par like the seeds or stuff, like the free food. And you can normally take down the houses for wood. It's just quicker cutting down trees or like anything else. I mean, it's just kind of boring. But hopefully, in the new update, there's going to be you can trade with villages as well. So I'll make it. It will probably encourage people to like build more next to villages, or like rather inhabit the villages because I think that's just so much better. Because at the moment, the villages are just kind of there. They don't do anything. And like, hopefully, they'll become more involving because. At the moment, you take some seeds and then no one replants them. It's like, oh, that's cool. Yeah, whatever. So let's just mine this up. So this will be my room for the night. Hopefully, I feel like bare grooms, you know. Just, what you want to do is you want to just settle down. You want to. First priority is coal. Uh, and I found that. Then it goes your house. You want to get a shelter. You're also trying to find wool as well. But if that's if not, you can just work for the night mining or what have you. That works as well. I'm probably gonna leave that there. For no, I'm gonna take that. All right, guys. Um, just uh, check out part two if you enjoyed this. Comment, rate, and subscribe as well. Uh, I'm just gonna keep going on this survival until uh, you guys don't like it anymore. Or if you guys don't like it, I'll stop it. But you know, whatever. Um. Just get out there for now. So thanks for watching. Check out Ginger Biscuits channel and speak to you later.